called a meeting of Mendeleo Chap Chap leaders where we have resolved that Mendeleo Chap Chap party will field candidates for all elective positions in this country. And uh, we want to tell our people that Mendeleo Chap Chap does not believe in zoning, does not believe in setting political parties or some seats to certain parties, and that if you join Mendeleo Chap Chap and you get a ticket of Mendeleo Chap Chap, it means that you will get to be on the ballot. There's a car there, I don't know whether it has to be on. So the, the members of the new governing council who are here with me discuss various issues including entering into coalition agreements, our support for Azimio, and the registration of aspirants and members for the August 2022 elections. And we resolve the following. One, Mandela Chap Chap Party believes in a democratic party nomination process that is free and fair. So far, no one has been given any direct ticket by Mandela Chap Chap. So, mtu asiendo kwa kusema, mimi tayari ticket yuko mfuko, hakuna mtu yuko na ticket kwa mfuko at all at all. The field is open to everyone from every part of the country. Aspirants should not risk being thrown out of other parties through flawed nominations. Nominations ni kali, kuna ukora sana kwa pati zingine muna zijua. Kwa hivyo usi ngojeo tupo inje, tunakuomba ya kwamba we njoo hapa maendeleo chap chap pati, mahali tukua na free and fair nomination process, which will be competitive, uh, we'll have competitive primaries where it, it's needed, zingine zitakuwa through consensus, tofanya polling, and even where it is required, we'll even have direct nominations according to our structures and our laws. Kwa hivyo naalika watu, popoto ulipo, kuja maendeleo chap chap party, uwe mbunge, uwe MCA, uwe senator, governor, viti vyote ambavu nitaka kuomba. Njo kwa maendeleo chap chap party, tokuwa na free and fair nominations. Na kuingini wangini watapata direct nominations, wengine itakuwa competitive, na wengine itakuwa consensus, kwa njia ambayo ata utasema, this is free and fair. Ukipara tiketi yako maendeleo chap chap, hakuna mtu atakunyanganya, utakuwa pale kwa debe on the 9th of August 2022. We are currently in negotiation within Azimio, and we'll announce this and sign when that is ready, but only within Azimio. So we've locked ourselves to Azimio uh, parties. The meeting also resolved to hold an aspirants meeting. This meeting of aspirants who've already registered and signed with Mandela Chap Chap on the 16th of March, so as to be able to give them either their certificates or tell them about getting the certificate process on the 16th of March, followed thereafter by a national delegates conference on the 19th of March all in this month of this year. And that is a statement from Mandeleo Chap Chap Party. We want to also tell 190 that uh, starting next week, and they will look for aspirants, they'll answer your questions, they will sign in aspirants, the people want to participate and support the party, so we can have an organized system. And I myself, thereafter the following week, I'll tour the country answering questions from aspirants before the meeting of aspirants of the 16th so that people can have clear answers knowing that they are getting into a democratic uh, party. Kwa hivyo kuluga kusweli kusema kwamba tatuma watu kwa ground, joni, tuko sawa kabisa. Mandilo Chap Chap is a national party. It's not just a regional block party. We are a national party. Number two, ongoing reorganization of Machako's government. I have today made some initial changes in my government to enhance proper and efficient provision of government services. Those changes also fill positions left vacant after the resignation of some offices, officers to seek public office. The changes take effect immediately. I have made some reshuffles in the county executive committees, the cabinet. Waziri Naomi Mutie, whose current portfolio is road, transport, and public works, will now be the Minister for Finance and Revenue Management and will act as a Minister for Roads, Transport and Public Works. Waziri Morris Omuyoma Aluanga, engineer, 
in addition to his portfolio of water, irrigation, environment, climate change, and natural resources, will also be the acting minister for tourism, youth, sports, and culture. Waziri Abanas Musioka Wambua will continue being the Minister for Food, Agriculture, Security and Cooperative Development. Mweshimiwa Titus Nzekimatiko continues being the Minister for County Administration and Decentralized Units. Mweshimiwa Evelyn Kavo Mutie, in addition to our portfolio of energy, lands, housing and urban development, will also be the Acting Minister for Trade, Industrialization, Forensics and Innovation. Waziri Mweshimiwa Dr. Ruth Ndukumutua moves from the Ministry of Education, Skills, Training, Social Welfare, and Civic Employment to be the full-time minister in the Ministry of Health and Emergency Services. Waziri Kimeu Kimeu, in addition to his Ministry of Public Service, Quality Management, and ICT, will also now be the acting minister for education, skills, training, social welfare, and civic empowerment. In the rank of chief officers, Mr. Timothy uh, Guteta, James Timothy Guteta, who is the chief officer in the, in the office of the county secretary, will, in addition to those duties, also be the acting chief officer for tourism, culture, youth, and sports. And Mr. Victor Mwalaka Muniafu, who has been the acting chief officer of tourism, culture, youth, and sports, reverts back to being the chief executive officer of Machahood. I am also appointing Mr. Stephen Dwicky to be the Acting Chief Officer of the Ministry of Water, Irrigation, Environment, Climate Change, and Natural Resources. In addition to these changes, the County Secretary, Madam Grace Mungutu, will be announcing other changes tomorrow in the uh, decentralized units and other departments as we do reshuffles, transfers, and as we drop some people who have not been working. Next week, we'll also be doing more reshuffles, whereby we want to send some people home who have been absconding from duty and not functioning. This government, uh, these changes we are doing of redeployment of officers, we are doing it to give a new impetence and impact to service provision. We also want to remove lethargic, corrupt, and indisciplined officers who are not serving the government of Machakos. And we want to promote disciplined, hardworking, and deserving officers. Complainers, people who always grumble, people who always wait for others to solve their problems, people who always think about money as the only solution to anything. I don't want those people in my government. I want people who are active, who will do whatever it takes to solve a problem for 190, to get projects completed on time, and not complainers. I'm tired of complainers. Come on a complain and reform Serikali Yako. We don't need you in Machakos. There are people who sacrifice their money and time for the service of 190. What are complaints who attack Machakos? So we will drop you, we'll send you elsewhere. We don't want you in Machakos complaining all the time and demoralizing the rest of Machakos. Yes, we want people who can work as team members, team players to provide services. People who go to other activities and not come to work, people who are doing other biasharas instead of going to work, people asking for bribes to even up give approvals for different things. Munaenda nyumbani. Nataka machakos yangu ni yache ikiwa na system ambayo watu wanaaminika na wanafanya kazi na wanaudumia wanainchi. Thank you and God bless you. Okay. Asante. Unless there's any question. Swali lote.